Right, but do we have any chance of doing that? <laughs> what did I say, Brian? It's, I'm not. I'm not concerned with the machines. I'm concerned with the humans. But look, the humans. Let me read the news. Look at the way we act. And now you're going to tell everybody now we need to be on our best behavior when we can't help our need to race to zero. So, so let's let's put it this way. I mean, uh, there is a chance that uh, that you know things go wrong enough that we end up with a nuclear treaty-like solution. We've done that before as humanity, okay? There was a time where, during the Cold War, enemies got together on a table and said, hold on, this is serious shit, let's just stop this, right? Okay? So it has happened, and it can happen, and it will happen. It's just that humanity needs to realize that to protect my tribe, I need to protect the bigger tribe. Okay, uh, and then I'll go back to my differences with the other tribes later, but for now, let me protect the bigger tribe. So it is possible. The other more interesting side of this, and I advocate that very strongly, is that the developers of AI are actually not the parents of AI. They call them the biological parents that leave the child on a doorstep somewhere. Okay, so they create a recommendation engine for a social media platform, and then they put it out there. Right. Okay, the adopted parents are you and I. Right. The adopted parents that are actually teaching that machine what to do right. are you and I. Okay, it's not the developer of the Instagram the recommendation engine that determines what Instagram is going to show me tomorrow. It's the videos I see today that will determine what Instagram will show me tomorrow. Okay, so, so just take that very simple example. I am the one telling that AI what to do. Okay, now here's the interesting bit, whether for your own personal benefit and gain, or for the personal benefit and gain of your kids and ones that you love, or if you really, really are like almost a Sufi or a Buddhist and you expand that people that you love to everything that lives, okay, for the benefit of everything that lives, you are better off telling that machine to be ethical, okay? And if you and if and how do you do that? How do you teach a child to be ethical by behaving ethically in front of the child? Right. Right. So you know, imagine if uh, you're able to to tell those machines. By the way, there's no point being rude. Okay. By the way, there is no point manipulating other brains. By the way, there is no point trying to to keep me stuck to the machine if there is a way to give me information uh, in, a, in a more effective way, okay? It's our behavior that does that. So let me give you a few examples. Huh? Instagram recommendation engine. One of my most interesting experiments is I love music. I play the guitar. I, you know, I love when, uh, and, and I don't know if you know, the, know this, but w somehow every guitar player today is better than any guitar player in my, my generation. I think YouTube helped a lot. And there are amazing, amazing young people out there. I, Instagram shows me uh, a young lady playing Hotel California, Hell Freezes Over, very, very beautiful solo, perfectly, impeccably. I press love and I watch it again, right? The machine now goes like, hmm, he either likes the guitar, likes Hotel California, or likes the girl. Think about it, right? I swipe up, and then another girl playing another solo, impressive, I press love. Mm. Then the, it shows me a man playing a solo, badly, so I swipe away, and it shows me a man playing a solo of a song I don't like, so I swipe away. I wake up the next morning and my feed is full of women playing the guitar. Right? So the machine itself doesn't recognize that what I wanted was a beautifully played solo. It assumed, because sadly, the, 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 the general behavior on the internet is women and men and looking at you know, beauty as a, as, a, as a surface character, if you want. So I took charge. I basically sat down for five minutes and swiped in a conscious way to say, I love good music. Right. Okay, and now the machine performs that way for me. It's it's within my ability to teach the machine what I stand for. I go to YouTube, and I never let YouTube recommend anything to me. Okay, because I have the ability to go to to YouTube and say, London Real. I know I want to watch that. I know I may not want to watch something else. And by doing that, I'm telling the machine what it is that my preferences are. 
Okay? We're interacting with machines daily. I don't know where our listeners are today. I don't know what they did. I don't know how old they are. I don't know what type of telephone they're using. But I guarantee you every single one of them has interacted with 50, 100 AIs. Each and every one of them is making decisions and impressions about the user. And each and every one of those AIs is smarter than the user using it, at least at that task that is assigned to it. So it is your responsibility for your own individual benefit to make that AI conform to you and serve you. Okay? But it's also your responsibility as an individual that fits within a society to teach that AI to perform in ways that are good for that society. Okay? So if there is a tweet that you disagree with, I mean, again, this conversation, we will, have, we will get a lot of wonderful comments and a lot of hate speech, right? I urge the hate speechers hmm, to simply express their point of view in a way that is respectful, right? So you get to respect your, to, to, to express your point of view, but at the same time, you show the machine that humans are not rude, they are not aggressive, they do, it's not that they just dislike to be disagreed with and when they're disagreed with, they bash everyone. Because eventually, if this is the impression that the machine has of humanity, when we disagree with it, it will bash us. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year's gonna be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days, but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. 
If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you take 60 seconds right now and join my academy, apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?